Welcome everyone to Finding Life. My name is Jeff and we're here to help you find life, enjoy life, and win in life. We are here today in episode number 68 and I, I've titled it, It's Not Coffee's Fault. Um, <laughs> this may be somewhat comical, but um, the purpose is not comical. The purpose is spiritual growth, helping us find life, enjoy life, and win in life. So, so you know, the coffee memes, you got some that say, some people just say this, don't talk to me, I haven't had my coffee yet. You know, um, don't expect um, um, a smile or don't expect kindness or a joy or don't, don't I haven't had my coffee yet. So I'm just, you know, don't, don't, um, don't, don't bother me, right? Um, this morning's coffee, may this morning's coffee give you the strength to make it to your mid-morning coffee. That was one mem I saw. Um, trying to be funny. Uh, someone says, how do you take your coffee? Seriously, very seriously. You know, so, so these are just, these are, these are attitudes and these are thoughts of people who drink coffee. Now, there is a warning. There is a warning. I'm not attacking coffee. I'm not attacking coffee, but I am attacking something here in this uh, episode today. And I am attacking an attitude of many believers in Christ, many Christians, uh, who are expressing a greater faith in their coffee than they do have in God and being a doer of His Word. Okay? There is, uh, this is the warning. I'm not attacking coffee, but I am attacking an attitude of many Christians who have, a gr have expe expressed a greater faith and confidence in their coffee than in God and His Word. What do I mean by that? Well, Mark 11, 22 says this. Jesus said this, have faith in God. Have faith in God. Notice he didn't say have faith in coffee. He had faith in God. And what does that mean? Well, what does that, what does that mean? Well, the scripture tells us the joy of the Lord is our strength. Notice it doesn't say coffee is our strength. No, no, it's the joy of the Lord is our strength. Where is our confidence? Is our confidence in the joy of the Lord or is our confidence in our coffee? We can enjoy our coffee, but where's our faith? Where's our confidence? The Bible says this, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. And people say, yeah, don't expect any of those things until I have my coffee. It doesn't say that. It's the fruit of the Spirit. So, 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 so see, people have more confidence in their coffee than they do the fruit of the living, the fruit of the Spirit. The Spirit of the living God living on the inside of them and what He has done inside of them, causing them to be made a new creature in Christ Jesus and the love of God. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, fruitfulness, joyness, gentleness. All these things are on the inside of us. These are fruit that are hanging off of our tree. These are the thing, expressions of the life of God in us that we are to be expressing. It has nothing to do with coffee. It has everything to do with our faith in God and our acting on the Word of God. Here's another scripture. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. People go, yeah, that ain't going to happen until I have my coffee. This is carnality. This is, this is fleshly Christians, flesh Christians walking in the flesh, carnal Christians living as mere unchanged men and women who have more confidence in their coffee than in God and His Word. No, 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 no. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice. It's not how I feel. It's a choice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I, re I will rejoice. It's, it's, it's a rejoicing. It's, a, it's, it's getting, getting excited. Why? Because this is the day the Lord has made. Whether I had a coffee or not, it makes no difference. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is spiritual maturity. This is spiritual maturity. This is growing up. It's time for us as believers to grow up. So listen, you can enjoy your coffee but have faith in God and be a doer of His Word, right? It has nothing to do with your coffee. Forget about the coffee. You can enjoy it, but have faith in God and be a doer of the Word, and your spiritual growth will start increasing. We love you. God bless, and we'll see you next time.